before we do Gloucester tops, quickly on Quinns. Um, five on the bounce they've lost now in the Prem. Uh, would you be worried? And do you agree? I mean, Danny Kerr said something interesting after the game. It felt pertinent. He said, we get ourselves into good positions. We're ahead with a few minutes on the clock, but we don't kick on. There's almost not that extra gear. Got to seal games out, keep threatening. Defensively, got to be tight. And they're actually sort of sleeping. They're getting caught yeah. sleeping in those periods. And I watch them and I wonder, you've got Andre Esterhazen. It's just one player, but he's one of the Premiership's biggest weapons. And I feel like he's doing some brilliant things. The offload was brilliant, some lovely kicks. But I actually feel like they're perhaps not using him as well as they have done the last few seasons. And if you got him, use him. Do you think that could take him to the next level? Am I talking rubbish? No, no, I'd say you're on something there. I'd, say I'd combine that with getting more bang for their buck. They're doing a load of good work, but they're not actually taking advantage of it. And that's what we're going to have a look at here. So Gloucester, particularly in the first half, their defence, it laid the foundations for their attack to go on and win the game. But if we look at a couple of these clips... This is a five, ten minute period in the first half where Queens are in the red zone. You think they're going to score. We're knocking on the door. Gloucester's work at the breakdown, exceptional. Now, this one, you see Lewis Ludlow, he gets a lot of turnovers. His elbows are on the floor, but he gets the penalty, so we're going to let him We've have it. We've seen him given. We've seen, We've seen him, him given. Him. We see them a lot. But Gloucester's habit of attacking those breakdowns, of making good decisions, both in the tackle and then allowing these jacklers to get on the ball. This is a couple of minutes later. Rapava Ruskin, he's there. They're just hunting in packs, looking for those turnovers. And when they get their opportunities, the technique is brilliant. It's flawless. You can't move him. A bit of back chat from Danny Kerr, Mr. 352. He gets marched back 10 metres. But Gloucester did this time and time again, especially in the first half when it mattered. We're still in the 22. So if you think if Quinn scored one of these, the game could be a lot different. Here's Tui Sui. Now, he doesn't actually get this, but look at the pressure. Look at the slow ball. Ludlow celebrating. It's ours. They don't get it, but one phase later knock-on turnover. So this was one part of the problem they caused Harlequins. The other was their defensive system. Yeah. The work of the wingers. And we're going to have a quick look at that now. So yes, as please. this lineup unfolds, I want you to have a look at Johnny May. So they go first phase, you think Esther Hayes and there he is, he tips that one, that's fine. But what the wingers did, they got in the passing lane. They got high, they made it difficult for Harlequins to get into those wide channels where they are so lethal. So you look at Johnny May. Those three Harlequins players taken out of the game because he jumps out the line. We're going to see it again. We fast forward, fast forward. This is 90 seconds later. Coming to the other wing, there he is, Thorley. He's going to do exactly the same thing. He's going to jump up. He's going to get in that passing lane. And he's actually the gold. He comes away with the interception. So Gloucester did this. This probably got them an hour into the game. And then their attack at the end was brilliant. Carreras, brilliant. Reece Zammett, out of this world. I mean, we know about the speed. But his actual work rate to get involved. And a quick shout out to Seb Atkinson as well. I think he actually yeah. handled Esther Hazen very, very well. So a really good win from Gloucester because they had to kind of figure things out and then come away and win it in the end. And they did that in style. They had to really win it a couple stuff. of times, didn't yeah, they? In different they did. ways. Really enjoyed that.